the Danish folk high school is somehow a second home because you you develop a family and you live together in a place you live in a boarding or a dormitory together and at the same time you share common interests or you share subjects. It's basically an alternative form of education where you learn about things outside of what you would in normal school. So uh, we do things like movie making, a uh, really fun class, choir we have, but we also have core subjects. So it is a really good balance of real world versus um, exciting activities to do. You get your freedom in terms of choosing all kind of subjects that you are interested in. And you can also try yourself in those that you have not tried before. Here you make your own choices, but you also have the time to think about yourself and really reflect. And you're constantly surrounded by people and people that you've never met before the folk high school. For me personally, the music or the singing in the morning is a big part because it really unites people and no matter what your background is, you can start singing together. Obviously there are parties and it's not only on the weekend but sometimes it's on the weekdays as well. But you have uh, one very important obligation uh, being a high school student is that you have to be on classes. You have to have 28 classes a week. We don't have exams, we don't have grades, and classroom participation is most important of all. And I think that's, that's the best part about coming here, because you get to interact and learn from others as much as you do from the teachers. The teacher has such a huge impact on how much you're going to like something, and the thing about Fook High School are the t is that the teachers are really, really passionate about what they're teaching and that makes you really passionate about it. So everything you do, anything you do in a folk high school, you're probably gonna find it super interesting. Every class is open for different points of view and there's no right and wrong answer. So there's a, lot of, a really big spectrum of what you can say. And I think that kind of represents democracy because in democracy, every voice is heard and every person can say that they want to. You kind of discover more about yourself and what your true passions are, so. Maybe I don't want to be a doctor, maybe I want to be a singer, and that's okay, like, you can do you. When you finish high school in Europe, which is really a lot of different things, it's very overwhelming and people tend to get, not burnouts, but it's quite common for young people to be busy in their entire lives and they have no space for freedom of thought. I've learned to step away from that pressure here because I'm literally in the bubble of the folk high school. And honestly, that's really great because it gives me distance from that pressure and allows me to decide for myself what I really want. My experience are fantastic. Fantastic. Is that how you say it in Danish? <laughs>